Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the art studio. Today we are continuing working on parts of the face so you can do a portrait or a self-portrait, okay? Today we're gonna to be working on the lips. I'll show you a couple ways of doing lips, the mouth area, okay? Um, I am using, I'm referencing a book by an awesome artist named Walter Foster. His stuff is amazing. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna do this in three basic steps for you, okay? We're gonna start off with laying out the middle of the lips, the top edge, and where the bottom edge is gonna be, okay? Now, the lip, a lot of the lips are about the shadows. The shadows are really important in the lips, okay? And usually, the top lip, the top lip is gonna be darker than the bottom lip, okay? So you're gonna have the dark top lip, the bottom lip's gonna be lighter, and then there's gonna be a shadow under the bottom lip. That's how you kind of draw it, okay? All right, so here we go. We got that laid out. Now I'm gonna start kind of drawing in the features. We're gonna add some volume, and then we're gonna add some shading to give it some tone, and we're gonna start on our shadows, our core shadows and our cast shadows, okay? So this is, is gonna be like the center of the lips are gonna be here. This is gonna be in shadow. I'm gonna just keep adding more and more shadow to that. And then the top lip, right at the end, we're gonna have just a little bit, like a, just a little bit of a, a peak here. And then we're gonna have, this is gonna be shadow. I notice the direction that I'm, I'm shading in, okay? This is gonna come up here. This is gonna be shadow. And I think I'll darken that in a little while, but just to get started. All right, now, underneath here, this, this just to kind of define the bottom edge, we're gonna have just a shadow that kind of goes under it, and then just a little reflected light, a little cast shadow here, okay? We're gonna continue that over here a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna have, down below here, we're gonna have the shadow that's underneath the lip. So it's gonna be pretty dark here. And this is like where the chin would start. So you notice that I changed my direction on my, on my shading lines. Gonna make it look like the, the chin, okay? All right, that's a pretty good start. Now I'm gonna just, get back in there with more shading, okay? So I'm gonna have the top lip is gonna be pretty, or I'm sorry, the bottom lip is gonna be pretty light. Okay, now in here, the real deep shadows in here. This is going right into the crack of the mouth here. I'm gonna shade that in. This is gonna be a little bit darker. Okay, a little, little uh, cast shadow here, a little darker shadow, well, pretty dark in here. Okay, a little more shading up the side here. Again, you can see this section's pretty dark. Shade around. This will be the beginning of the cheek and all the dimples. And this is pretty light though. Lots of shading, okay? You're kind of creating 3D shape using your shading, okay? A little shadow here. And 
and then this would take you right into where the nose would start. We talked about this the other day, right? This is the philtrum. <clears throat> So I got a little smudge from my hand a little bit. So I'm gonna kind of go back in there. Again, we want to have a, a wide range of, of, of values of tones, right? So I want to have my brightest brights, my darks. About nine different shades of gray, all the way from the darkest to the lightest. Okay. And then as you would go up here, and then you would start the nose would start about here. Okay. That would be where the nose would be. Okay. this cast shadow underneath the lips, almost as dark as this. Then to kind of give it that polished look, like the lips are wet or they have lip gloss on them or something, I'm gonna go back in and erase a little bit and give it that a little highlight. there you have the lips, okay? Now, uh, if you wanna do some lips that have uh, the teeth showing, okay? So again, you're gonna lay, just lay out the basic shape where you're gonna have things. Okay, and then again, you're gonna create quite a bit of this using shading. first and then I'm gonna get in there with the shading the, again the top lip is gonna usually is gonna be a little darker and then the bottom lip a lot of it you're gonna leave lighter This is the shadow underneath the lip here. Okay. I'm trying to put some lines on the lip, kind of give it those little wrinkle lines that the lips have. A little more shadow. Make 
make this person look like they're smiling a little bit. this up a little bit. Do the same thing over here. Okay, now the teeth. When you're doing the teeth, it's almost like you're not, you're not drawing the teeth. You're drawing everything that isn't there to kind of create the teeth because you want them to look nice and white. So watch what I do here. I'm just gonna have the kind of the, the spaces between the teeth, okay? And you can, this can be kind of a little bit different every time you do it, but depending on how much, how big of a smile you wanna make, but it's almost like, you're just showing a little bit on the, on the edge here. Okay, this is, and I'm just showing kind of the top teeth, just a little bit of the top teeth. Just a tiny, tiny bit, okay? Just add a little bit of shadow there. Not too, too much. And that, So you can get kind of a smile going. Okay, just like that. Another way you can do it too is if you wanted to have the um, this was the top. kind of show the um, the top edge of the tooth. And again, you're drawing kind of everything but the tooth. It would look something more like this. Lip is usually again always usually darker. This would be a little shadow back in here. Just kind of a hint of those those lines. Just maybe just peek out the kind of the bottom edge here. And the shadow under here. Might put the highlight on there. That's how you can do the teeth. Okay, everybody. Um, keep practicing. Do three or four of these. Have some fun with this. You want to take a picture of your own smile or look at yourself in the mirror, you can. Um, 
if you take a picture on your computer of your own smile, the great thing to do is then convert it to a black and white. Take all the color out of it and just turn it into a black and white picture because you're using black and white here. So it looks like I got a little scribble mark on my tooth there. And that's how you can do the smile, okay? All right, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.